In this video, I'll show you how to add player movement to objects in Godot. Okay, so let's start off by creating a new project. Just give it a name and save it where we want on the computer. And then create and edit. In this tutorial, we're only going to use two dimensions. So go to 2D and then create a root node, node 2D. And then we can add an image. I'm just going to add a car with a transparent background. You can add whatever image you want. Drag it in and then drag it into the viewport. And then we can scale it down. So hold in shift and uh, scale it down to keep the aspect ratio. And then to be able to move it, we need to add a new script. So we'll click on this button and then just create a new script. And then we're going to write a script that tells Godot where to move the player when we press the different arrow buttons. And then inside the input.getVector function, we're going to tell it to go to a negative x value when UI left, which is the left arrow is pressed, and then a positive x value when UI right is pressed which is the right arrow. And then the same logic for the y-axis for the up and down arrows. Okay, and then we need to use this uh, direction input for the position. So uh, plus equals direction times 400 and then delta adjusts all of this for your frame rate so that if you have a high frame rate, it's not going to move any faster. Okay, and then we can save it and run it. And when you press the arrows on your keyboard, you can see that we now move the car around on the X and Y axis.